Hey guys and welcome to Corvid Time. In this video I will try to explain to you how Django works. I will talk a little bit about the different parts of Django like the views, the models, the templates and similar. I will also talk about how everything is connected in Django, what happens when you go to a URL and similar. What is Django? Django is a framework based on Python for building websites and web applications. Django is insanely fast. It takes security seriously and it's very easy to learn. Django is very beginner friendly. It's based on Python and is my number one language that I always suggest to beginners. Django project versus Django apps. It can be a little bit confusing in the beginning because there are probably many terms and names that you never heard about but these will come naturally to you when you have worked with Django for a little while. For example, the whole website is a Django project. And then a Django project consists of many Django apps. For example, if you take my website, codewithstein.com, this is a Django project. And the project consists of many apps, like the blog, the course, and similar. And the Django app usually consists of models, views, templates, etc. I'll go into each of these in a little bit more detail. Models. For example, if you take this model here, you have a class post, which is the name of the model, and then you have three different fields. You have the title, which is a char field used to store small text, like a title, the name of something, and similar. We also set the max length. And then you have a slug field, which is a URL representation of the title. And then the body, which is a text field, which is used for longer texts. There are also more fields like email field, image field, integer fields, and so on. Views. Here you have two different types of views. First, we have the function-based views and then below, the class-based views. The first, we take post from the database by calling a model called post and then we get all of the objects and then we render the request with the template and then we pass in the posts. The view below is a class-based view. This does exactly the same as the one above. It takes the model post and since we pass in list view we want to get all of the posts and then this will automatically look for a file called post underscore list dot html so a lot of magic happens here and Django does a lot for us and then we have the templates the templates shows or generates the html for example here we loop through a list of posts and then we show the title and the body by the way, I hope you like this video, and if you do, please hit like below. And also remember to subscribe if you haven't done that already. What happens when you go to a page? Let's say you go to codewithstein.com slash an article example. First, the web server will get a request which will be passed on to Django from, for example, Nginx. And then the file manage.py will be triggered. Very little happens here, it just initializes the environment and then we select which settings file to use. And then the settings file contains information about which URLs file to use and also many other different things. And then in the urls.py file is where everything starts happening. The URL file contains a list of the different pages like the front page, about, category, post detail, etc. And then Django will help you find the correct page based on what the URL contains. An article example will not match this, but it will match on this. What happens here is that Django knows that we expect a dynamic address here called slug. When this matches, it will call a view called post detail. And then the post detail view comes from the views file. And then here you can see the detail view for a view page. So here we get the post from the database based on the URL or slug we get from the urls.py file. Then next we use the render function for showing the HTML in the browser. So in a few words the flow will be like this. The browser sends to the web server which sends to the manage.py which goes to into the settings.py file, into the urls.py file, into the views.py file and then the template and then you will see the result. I hope it was possible to follow along and that you might be even learn something new. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.